Hi everyone, welcome to chendu.org. In this short video tutorial, I am going to explain to you how to create a birthday reminder workbook in Excel. What this workbook can do is, it can uh, highlight all the upcoming birthdays as well as it will show a short hyperlink that says send email. And when you click on that link, it will automatically open your email application, whether it's Lotus Notes or Microsoft Outlook or whatever you are using and compose a message for you that goes something like hi xyz many many happy returns of the day and it will also populate the email address of the party so you can use uh, this application excel workbook to create an email message and send a birthday wish automatically so let us go ahead and build something like this in order to build the birthday reminder excel workbook we need a couple of things the first thing that we need is um, what will be the mail subject in case if we choose to send the email so we will put the subject of the mail in the cell c1 let us say many many uh, happy returns of the day this is the message of the, our subject uh, our email and then the body of the message itself okay we will just write the body in a few minutes and then finally your name the name of you in this case I will put this as Chandu that's my name and I'll just adjust the column width and of course we need to have a list of all the people and their corresponding birthdays as well as email addresses so name sorry for that name birthday email address okay and then I will use this cell this column here to show the mail link this is where we will load the email link whenever the whenever their birthday is happening okay so we'll put some dummy names John James Jamie Josh Jenny Jacob okay and let us say today is October 26 so just to test whether this thing is working or not I will use uh, 26 10 2010 I think this format is not recognized yeah that format is recognized and it so happens that all these people have birthdays in the next seven days okay so today's date is October 26th so by default if everything is all working all right we should see a mail link here against John just to tidy up this I will apply some borders so it looks neat and we will put some dummy email addresses okay uh, since I'm too lazy to even come up with dummy email addresses I will just use a simple formula like this mail.com okay and then we'll just fill up this thing all the way okay finally what we need is we need to show a hyperlink whenever uh, the birthday is today so here there are uh, three interesting formulas that we will be using we will use the Microsoft Excel's if formula to check whether this date here is matching with today's date so if formula will be used to check whether C7 is equal to today and in order to get the today's date we will use a formula called today so the formulas that we are going to use are if today and the third formula is called as hyperlink now this is an interesting formula just to show how hyperlink works hyperlink link location so you can use http chendu.org and then a friendly name let us say cool excel site and a hyperlink will be created with the uh, title cool excel site and when you click on it the website will be opened in the default browser now as some of you may already know you can use a different protocol http is what we use for websites so we can use a similar protocol called as mail2 that how this is how it works mail2 and you can put any address let us say abc at mail.com and just by putting that itself is enough uh, so send mail okay a link will be created saying send mail when you click on that 
your mail application will be opened here uh, you can see that outlook has opened with abc at mail.com in the two area let us just close this and modify this a bit mail at abc.com question mark subject equal to subject is hello and tab out and then when you click you will see the subject field is populated with hello now similarly you can fill up the body field as well hello and then additional parameters this is just a simple HT, uh, http url format where the first argument is given after question mark and the other things are given after ampersand so nothing fancy you just need to remember this body is how are you doing and let me just click this again now you see that the address is populated hello and then this thing is populated so this is exactly what we are going to do what we will do is we will put the address of John here in the two and then subject will be whatever we said here and the body message will be whatever the message that you have specified in the cells the C3 but we will make the body message a bit more fun so let us get started the way we are going to use is if C7 is equal to today okay if, it, if the birthday happens to be today then we want a hyperlink for the location mail to ampersand and this address ampersand is used to concatenate various operate various text values in excel okay and question mark subject is equal to ampersand many many happy returns of the day that is c2 since the subject is a static reference I'm just going to use the dollar C dollar two and percent within this we will have one more ampersand and then say body equal to and then body will be whatever is in the cell C3 okay uh, for the time being we'll just leave it there but uh, we will modify this formula a bit more once we see that it is working already right. and if it is false we just don't want anything We'll also want to have a friendly name for the hyperlink so send email wishes okay send wishes else so since uh, John's birthday happens to be today we get a link that says send wishes let me just copy the formula and then fill it for the other cells since none of the others birthdays are today you don't see this for example if I edit this and set uh, Josh's birthday as well as 26 you will see one more link saying send wishes so if I click on that link you will see that we got a mail for Josh Josh at mail.com many many happy returns of the day okay don't save and let us come back here and I think it's important that we write a message so hi dollar and we want the dollar to be replaced by the actual name of the person in case John in this case John or Josh and then use alt enter to create a new line how are you doing I, oh, I think this is even unnecessary I wish you a very happy birthday okay and hugs at trade wherever the at, at the red symbol is there we want to have my name displayed okay so this is a pretty uh, dynamic fun I'm just adjusting column width so we don't see and then row height so that's the message and what we want to do is oops what we want to do is we wanted to have both the subject and body to be free filled so instead of c3 I want to replace uh, both my name uh, and the party's name in this C3 so I will use the formula substitute substitute C3 with uh, wherever there is dollar replace it with B7 the party's name and then we will wrap this whole substitute in one more and here the next time we will use once that once that replacement is done 
uh, I want to replace the at the rate symbol with my name my name is in the cell C4 okay I make it absolute and for the time being we'll just leave it there okay send wishes now as you can see the subject message has come and both the name John and Chendu has come but the thing is it was all crushed into one line so there is an important little nugget <laughs> that you need to learn that is whenever there is a new line here uh, the mail will not accept new lines it will accept a character called this percentage 0a okay so the new line has to be replaced by this character now how do we do that so we will just uh, put the percentage 0 a here and what I'm going to do is substitute c3 new line is character 10 in Excel okay so this is the actual message that we need to use so then I oh, every time I click that it is activating this cell so then I uh, select this cell and move it to this one okay so the reference is actually changed to d3 instead of c3 and oh when I click here I got a nice little message that is beautifully formatted it says hi John I wish you a very happy birthday hugs Chandu so when you hit the send button the mail will go to john at mail.com I don't know whether it's John's birthday or not and I don't know whether this is a valid email address so I don't want to send any wishes to him but this is how it works it opens in your default mail account and you can send it it doesn't use any macros or any other advanced magical fun stuff in Excel but it just works as a birthday reminder so you can even use conditional formatting to highlight the particular row that matches today's date or you can change the logic so that the link appears one day or one week before the actual birthday so you can plan for some better things what I have done is I have beautified the whole thing and made it a little more usable and put it as a template here you can download it from chendu.org the URL will be something like this uh, http chendu.org slash 2010 slash 1026 birthday reminder template okay so that's the URL go ahead there go to there and download the template for your use I hope you have enjoyed this short Excel tutorial on how to create a birthday reminder worksheet in Excel thank you very much you have a great day bye bye